Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Leo, I would love it if you would were to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you all, is through the comments, Leo, as well. Leo, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I always am super appreciative of it, Leo, when you take that step to support me in that way. But remember, Leo, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my weekly readings, my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought for the day, some pers a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life, Leo, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards, right, Leo? So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading. Uh, starting you out, we have, because I pulled a, a card already to see where your energy is at this week, Leo. And you guys are have the Empress card, Archangel Gabriel. Now, this is the number three for numerology, so write down the number three to look that up at a later point. Um, as well as with Archangel Gabriel, if you're open to connecting to Archangels, uh, Leo, this is the time to do this this week, to reach out to Archangel Gabriel, if your practices allow it, right? Don't feel like you have to. Uh, this card does say, lavish in abundance, uh, giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others. So this is a very... <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I guess I can say it. This is a very fertile card. And I know how weird that sounds. Um, but this is a card of where it could be a sign of pregnancy, but I don't ever like to give those type of like predictions because it's like, honey, with the hundreds of people that see this reading, chances of someone finding out that they're pregnant are pretty high. So yeah, you, you could just say that every single week, right? And it'd be true. But I want to really hone in on the message, uh, Leo, of the sense that I do feel like you guys are in the progression of really giving birth to something big. Now, I don't usually even say this portion of the, like, express the Empress in this way normally. I usually just talk about you just going through the motions of life and really getting you set up to do something, you know, just character building, darling. But uh, for you guys, Leo, I just get this very strong sensation that you guys are planning something big, right? So uh, let's start pulling some cards for this, right? Let's start uh, getting a little bit deeper with this fertile energy, right? Um, <laughs> I may even just like, if I can't think of a better title link for this video, uh, Leo, I may just title this like something being like your fertile or whatever, because it's such a weird, <laughs> uh, all right. So let's get some clarifiers on this now. We have the sun, excuse me, we have the sun card coming in for you. Uh, it, this card knocked over uh, one of my other tarot decks, a card. I'm going to look at it in a moment, but it's flipped down right now. But I'm going to show you these. We have the sun card coming in for you, Leo, that aggressively came out. We have the lover's card coming in for you. Okay, Leo. Okay. We have the sun also being in that card as well, if you notice in the top. Uh, we have the two of pentacles for you. And then we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, Leo. So let's look at this extra card that came out. It was aggressively slammed out. Five of Cups coming in here. Five of Cups coming in here. This... Hmm. I'm trying to see how this correlates with this setup right now, Leo. I'm trying to see where it fits in this puzzle. Because with this Five of Cups coming in here, I do get this sense of distraction. There's a distraction coming in here, and maybe this goes in between your two pentacles and your page of pentacles. But we'll address this at a later point. We're going to start with your Sun card and the Lover's card. This is an affirmation straight up, um, Leo, of this sense of, you know, when you, there's the sun card itself is just straight up a card of success right you can't really get much better than that um it's a good time to manifest overall just like very much so like a thumbs up from spirit for whatever it is that you are doing right 
when you have this with the lover's card, this is encompassing, I mean, it could be encompassing a person, but I'm going to really hone in because the love, lovers represents big decisions. Uh, Leo, I feel like this is what the spirit is putting a thumbs up to because I noticed I even pointed it out, uh, made it a point to point it out. And it's like the first time I've done it actually, uh, Leo, of where I pointed out the sun showing up in the background, um, being so present, following me. So it's again, almost like spirits giving some type of blessing or some, just a thumbs up in some way in your life, spirit, in your life. I called you spirit, <laughs> not Leo. Don't mind me. You're getting a thumbs up on some type of big decision that you've been wanting to do, that you've been weighing the decision out for. Two of Pentacles coming in. This is the sense of weighing things out. Now, this is where I feel like the Five of Cups comes in here. Because maybe this is an energy, Leo, of where you're starting, like, you might be experiencing some doubt because you're, maybe you've, like, spilled this, like, you've messed up before. Whenever you start putting energy into this, right? Um... And I feel like maybe that's what's intimidating you. And that's why Spirit's trying to uh, give you this ac extra affirmation of being like, no, like, you know, giving this extra thumbs up and being like, no, this is like what it is that you need to do, uh, Leo. Page of Pentacles has, yeah, this is what has you like resisting this. Because I do see the sense, uh, Leo, like I see you wanting to make big decisions, but there's just like this, you know, with this being inverted, like there's this sense of just not wanting to put your neck out there fully, not wanting to take that risk, right? Because you're just unsure of how it's going to work out because maybe a past time when you put out your neck for a situation, um, you ended up regretting it, right? So now you're just at this place of, you know, being out of freeze, right? Where you're like, you want to continue giving birth and like creating this uh, reality for yourself, you know, very much so magician energy, but you're paralyzed um by the potential outcome of what it could be ten of cups coming in under your sun card powerful the fool card coming in the reverse for the lovers okay coming in uh, nope all right or i guess we're taking the fool card in the upright i just heard that the world card in the reverse for you uh leo under your two of pentacles and then the four swords uh coming in here under your page of pentacles all right so ten of cups being under your sun card as i was saying leo is powerful right the sun's shining in terms of your personal life in terms just very good with that so if you're having an, a fear and anxiety in terms of like things in your personal life going to shambles you shouldn't have like i don't want to say you shouldn't but it's i'm getting very much so, like keeping in mind like the sun's really putting an emphasis on that um shining brightly on that right so take that as you will uh this fool card coming in that i thought was initially in the inverted but spirit made it a very strong point to be like to have this be turned over for you leo with this under your lover's card i get this sense of uh yeah giving this big chance this big decision right that we talk about with the lovers um another chance with a clean slate right because notice with the fool card this is like the sense of like the Fool is like an energy of um, really just carefree, letting your inhibitions, your guard down, just doing something, right? Not being in your head. It also is the representation of a new journey. That's why you have the zero coming in, right? Because the re Fool represents just new, entirely a new chapter. This world card in the reverse for you coming in under your two of pentacles, Leo, lets me know this has been like a repeated cycle for you, right? And this lets me know like this is what's been long standing. Like you've really been at this place of trying to thrive, but also being scared of doing the things that make you thrive more, Leo. It's very interesting. And with this four of swords being under your page of pentacles in the reverse, I mean, I feel like this kind of is self-explanatory, right? It needs to be healing being done. So that's why you know so you no longer have this page of pentacles energy being blocked off, right? There is some type of closure that you need to experience, some type of healing that you need to experience, but interesting how's this going to pan out for my leos though let's get uh which we're going to use this deck how's it going to pan out for my leos this week huh. it's still overall quite a good reading don't you think leo but just very temperance card coming out for you in the upright going over the sun and lovers and fool and ten of cups 
good to have. Page of Swords coming in here under your Two of Pentacles, the World card, and the Lovers and the Fool. And then the Six, Seven of Wands coming in with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four Swords. Powerful. So do wait, stay the course. Temperance card is patience, keeping your emotions in check and not allowing your emotions getting the best of you. Um, Leo, this is definitely a sense that you kind of have to bide your time with this, right? But not biding your time by waiting it out before you commit to a decision, before making this big decision, I feel like. You need to make this big decision. You need to communicate as well. Page of Swords, there is this sense of, for some of you guys, a really strong need for you to communicate things clearly and thoroughly, because I feel like it would be very easy for you right now to be misunderstood. Uh, Leo, so definitely speak your peace because eyes are watching you. Seven of Wands, there's eyes looking at you. Um, there's definitely people hanging on to your word, and I just do get this very strong sense of um, uh, this need to. Yeah, I just feel like in order for this Four of Swords experience, partially has to do with communicating. Maybe this is a sense of calling for you to ask for help, Leo. Ask for help from some outside sources. All right. What was that weird sound? Let's get a little bit more cards for this. Two more. We have the Devil card in the reverse and the Knight of Discs. Yeah, you guys have to work through this Devil. There's some situation that you guys need to just kind of have like a finishing thoughts on. With this dynamic, I'm gonna lie, Leo, this is letting me know someone that feels like they are, they've moved on from a situation that was really painful to them at one point. Um, they think that they moved on from it, but they actually haven't. And I feel like there needs to be a little bit more treading there, a little bit more healing. You know, maybe some of you guys need to see it. I'm not going to tell y'all to go see a therapist, but this is very much so like um, a couple of sessions of therapy will do you, do you good, some good for this situation, I feel. <laughs> um, let's see here. Final card. Eight of Cups coming in here. You're so scared. Uh, Leo, you're so scared of going out and uh, going further to give birth to your dream. That's a shame, don't you think? There's such a, this fear of like going out into bigger and better waters, asking for more, you know, there's just, yeah. But it needs to happen, Leo. It needs to happen. Even if you ended up falling flat on your face before, it needs to happen. You need to continuously get back up on that horse and do it again. It's gonna be a hard message to take, right? A hard pill to possibly swallow, perhaps, for some of y'all, but it definitely is a necessity uh, for you, Leo. Um, but yeah, let's get into some, uh, what are the good things coming for my Leo this week? I wanna hear about some of the good things coming. We go, you know, we went over all that uh, heavy energy, right? What good things can we anticipate for my Leos this week? Four of Cups coming in here, okay. Uh, this is coming in again as a missing opportunity, uh, discontentment or boredom and opening your eyes to the possibilities. Now keep in mind, I know this is like some of you uh, Leos might be slumping your shoulders and be like, oh, Velka, that's not really a good message, but it is because it's showing to me um, there's something in your current space right now that would actually be very big for you, very beneficial for you that you actually want to take off to. Um, but I don't feel as if you're noticing it right now. So Spirit's really trying to bring this forward to you. And the clarifiers I just pulled for this, darling, confirm this message even more. So we have the Chariot card, something that you really could take a lot, put a lot of energy into. But this Nine of Wands coming in, yeah, I feel like this is your problem. You're not considering this possibility because it's one of those things of being like, um, you know, what if you're like scrolling on Indeed or like tr scrolling, trying to find where to put some applications in. You don't put applications into certain places because you're just like, oh, there's no way they'll take me anyways, right? You don't consider the possibility, so you don't do it. But if you actually were to just put in the application, what is the worst that could happen, right? Um, it actually ends up being extremely profitable for you, right? Page of Pentacles, the new energy starts opening up, uh, Leo. So... You know, I'm not going to pressure you anymore into that situation, but do the, take that information as you will, darling. Um, but yeah, let's get into my Leo social and relationships this week, right? Because keep in mind, Leo, we have more than just romantic relationships, right? We have friends, platonic, uh, we have family, work relationships, all those, all sorts of relationships in the life, not just the romance, right? 
Two of Pentacles, this is still something you're juggling with as well, still. Is what you're juggling with, um, Leo, is what you're juggling with dealings with a person? And that's what we're talking about in your general portion of your reading? Is that what, I, is that what we're getting at, darling? Is that what we're getting at, at on this day? Let's see. Yeah, it is. It exactly is. Okay. Tarot just called you out, Leo. That's what I'm going to call title this video is Tarot just called you out, darling. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Devil card. So if you didn't get to the general portion um, of your reading, Leo, definitely do this because I was literally talking about this sense of where I feel like you needed to communicate, um, where I feel like it was easy for you to be misunderstood at this time. And there's just this strong sense of communication, right? And I didn't know where it kind of was coming from. But then the Page of Swords coming in here with this devil card, right? You don't know how to, like, this devil, this devil, I, I don't dislike the devil, but I, because I don't at all mind it, but I dislike it and how aggressive and villainizing it sounds. Um, because in this sense, it makes it seem like this situation, this person is a devil, and it could just be, don't, they don't have to be, like, right? Why do we have to villainize an energy? But I do feel like there's a need for you to communicate. Ace of Wands is confirming to me this sense of where it's kind of like on you, um, Leo, to communicate in this sense. But you don't have to, right? This is just a suggestion from Spirit. So don't be going yelling at me, typing in the comments about like how you're not going to do something, honey. Because it's just like, that's fine. I promise you it's not going to change my life any, right? I understand like, you know, you have to do what's best for you in your situation. It's quite literally impossible for me to tell you what is going to be the right person to communicate with and who's worth communicating with and who's not communicating with right um if it's someone that you don't want to communicate with very clearly then maybe it's talking about somebody else right but now i want to get into y'all's financial situation this week uh leo what's going on with your financial and your work uh situation so we have the five of earth or the five of pentacles stepping forward to you Okay, so this card says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, and uncertain self-employment. So you guys are not feeling too sure about yourselves right now. And this Empress card coming out is again, spirits calling you out, Leo. You have fear in terms of giving birth to some, some I feel like for your self I, I really do feel like something just dealing with yourself, like your own stream of revenue, your own employment. Maybe some of you guys have fear in terms of your employment. Uh, from like some other business but there is this fear that you have in terms of managing it ace of wands comes in with the five of cups in the reverse this is what came in this extra card before was this five of cups um leo the ace of wands comes in as, i mean i hope this doesn't sound dismissive darling but it does it is just saying just do it right get out of your head stop paying attention to what has spilt like the cups that is spilled the things that like sure you may have done like a bad investment before leo but just because you did that one bad investment does that mean you should never do any other investment you should never do anything else in your life you should never take any other risk in your life because of that one time maybe a couple times right that you messed up no of course not you should never just quit after one time. You should, like, this is quite literally an energy of where you just are needing to get back on that horse. And spirit is just telling you over and over again, get back on that horse, uh, Leo. Yes, you can handle it. Yes, you can do this, right? Uh, the situation that you're blocking off, you need to do some more healing. You need to address that devil, right? Some of you, that devil may just be your imposter syndrome, Leo. Some of you, that devil is just in, truly a need of you needing to communicate with someone in your space that's really somehow having an impact into your, into your career into your just creative process and money making right and maybe there's there's definitely this sense of like an i uh of an energy where something's manifesting a little bit of a money blockage for you right whether it's just you stressing about the money blockage because of their presence or what have you like whatever your storyline is darling i don't know right but uh leo that is uh, the tarot cards that i have for you this week i hope you enjoyed this weekly horoscope message if you did be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated be sure to give this video a like and subscribe be sure also as well leo to suggest my videos to a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates uh if you would like to book a, book, a personal reading with me my website is simplyvalka.com i always link it down below all my social medias facebook tiktok twitter instagram darling all of them it's just simply Velka. so if you would like to contact contact me through any of those, do so. But I love you so much, Leo, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future.